This is my analysis of the new platform that's helping Aussies get into the property market and they're called Coposit. And their slogan is buy with 10K and Coposit the rest. Hmm, is it too good to be true? Mind you, I'm gonna provide a fair analysis of Coposit. I'm not gonna roast them like I always troll other people's platforms. Let's have a look. So right off the bat, who is the target market for Coposit? Well, firstly, people that don't have 20% deposit. And since the application process is through an app, well, bloody Gen Zs or Gen Ys, because you don't expect a boomer to use an app. You know, they wanna go, where's my paperwork sent to my mail? And they also promise there's no fees to use Coposit. So those people who are, you know, counting every penny, fee conscious clients, and they're targeting those people who are used to the buy now, pay later concept. So it's sort of like after pay for property. So the next question you'll be asking me, Q, how does it work? Well, let's go download the app and be a sneaky peek. So now that I've downloaded the app, I'm gonna log in as a guest. And straight off the bat, I am presented with a lot of properties. Hmm. After reading the article and fumbling around their website and also their app, basically this is how it works. Step one, you pay a $10,000 deposit. And then from their app, which basically spruiks, oh no, I mean, <laughs> present to you promotes uh, some of their developer recommended properties that support code deposit or co-posit. And say for example, you wanna live in Livo and you like this property in Elizabeth Street, two bed, two bath, one car space. The price guy is $692,000. And then what happens is Coposit works out the weekly repayments. Which the app doesn't really tell you how it worked it out, but being a really smart mortgage broker, I reverse engineer the numbers. Which is calculated on 10% of the purchase price, 692. So 10% of 692 equals $69,280 which later to get $10,000, which you already paid as the entry fee for Coposit, and you minus from 69,280, you get 59,280. And because Coposit only supports properties that have been sold off the plan, they work out when is the completion date. Well, it takes them 114 weeks to complete this property. Then if you get 114 divided by 52, which is a number of weeks in a year, you get a completion date of two years. You chuck this figure 114 and you divide it by 59,280, and then you'll get, 59,280 divided by 114, you get 520, which matches this figure over here. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how the cookie crumbles. Now here's my brutally honest feedback of code posit. You can't have it any other way. You're bloody basically buying off the plan properties, okay? It's either the traditional way or the code posit way. In a traditional sense, you gotta have 10% deposit to put your name down to wait for it to be built. For example, $69,000 for a 690K property. Aside from the dangers of buying off the plan property, which basically is developer might go under, your finance is not guaranteed because it's somewhere in the future, and you can't control the future valuation of the property, which means if the property is sold at this price, and then when you value it on that day it's under, well, you're F boy. But by buying the off the plan with Copas away, it's basically targeting people who can't even afford a 10% deposit to buy the off the plan property. It's bloody for the desperates, those that only have 10K, but want to buy off the plan and want to take the risk. My only concern is, are you targeting the desperate? And you guys mentioned you charge no fees to your clients that use Coposit. Come on, me and you know there's no free lunch in this world. How much did the developer give you under the table? <laughs> and the properties that you recommend, are they giving you the most mula mula mula? So with that added, there's a monetary bias already. My biggest concern for those who use Coposit for off the plan purchase is usually people who can't buy a property now, like a house or unit, they go for off the plan. They're already desperate if they're buying off the plan. I'll say you have this desperate bunch and then you're feeding on the bottom barrel of this desperate bunch, which are these people. The buy now and pay later people. And I'm really concerned that these people who basically have jack all money, just 10K, and then what happens on valuation day? They don't meet valuation. They only got that much money. They don't have a buffer to cover the difference in the valuation. They are gonna be so screwed. But a lot of you might say, hey Q, you've just been very negative. Guys, this is my motto. Hope for the best, but plan for the worst. The best version is everything is above water. Valuation is high. Developer won't go under. The person who gets this doesn't lose their job before getting the finance in two years time. But the question I wanna ask you and the question I ask my clients when I'm acting for them, have you guys planned for the worst? Yes, hope for the best, but have you planned for the worst? Do you have funds if valuation is short? What would you do if the developer went under? What happens to all this money that you've been paying for the next two years and this company goes boot boot? When something sounds too good to be true, putting down $10,000 to own a property. Oh, so good, so easy. It's usually too good to be true. Let me know what you think.